If you're feeling very spooky today, go to playtoandmtg.com <laughs> and go get all of your fall playmat needs. Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week we're joined by Joe Cherries and BZ of the Nitpicking Nerds to figure out which deck is the spookiest in CEDH. Should I? I should say that differently. To figure out which deck is the spookiest in CEDH. I'm Joe Cherries of the Nitpicking Nerds. And I'm BZ of the Nitpicking Nerds. And you can find us on YouTube under the name Nitpicking Nerds, I believe. We make Magic the Gathering Commander content. Not so much CEDH. That's why we're here. We're here to... Be the best at everything. You can watch us stumble over our lines in this video. So we have Cam on the Gitrog monster. Joe Cherries is playing Ikra Krom. They normally play Thrasios Vile Smasher, but we suggested the Krom version because Krom is kind of like Frankenstein and it's spooky. I'm playing Sidisi and BZ is playing Carador. <laughs> this is going to be another one of those moments where I probably should have just kept my first hand. I did the classic mulligan a one lander and then check the top only to find a land and be sad about it. Oh no, never yeah, look. You can't always look. look. Are you kidding me? Oh no, you the can't. The thrill, look. the thrill of looking is too too much. I'll keep this six. I have a pregame. Gemstone caverns, get rid of this march of swirling mists. Here's my draw for turn. Uh, let's play windswept teeth as land, going down to 39. Let's get ourselves a bayou. Let's cast a dark ritual. Use that three mana on a necro. Oof. I'm going to say you're under absolutely no pressure from. Yeah, anybody. exactly. So if I'm just going to say 30 is what I'm going to do. So I'll go down to nine. 31, what the hell? Yeah, you gotta do 31 on Halloween, so that's fair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 31, Halloween, happy Halloween. Yeah, I'm in a fucking great spot. My deck is spooky enough to be able to get Necropotence out on turn one. This is gonna go great, 31 on Halloween. No, you see the joke is. I'm funny. <laughs> Move towards my end step here. I have a lot of stuff that I am getting rid of. So notable both things are a Kozilek Butcher of Truths, a Life from the Loam, and a Golgari Grave Troll. Kozilek and Necro trigger at the same time, right? You can choose to put Kozilek trigger on top and to put them all back in your library. But do you want all that chat? <laughs> yes, I do. I think you, you could stack it. Actually, you can choose what you shuffle it. What do you mean? <laughs> Kozilek the whole yard? Isn't Necropotence, they're all Oh, it's, yeah, it is. Whenever you discard a you card. Can stack it however you want. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, you yeah, can literally so shuffle it whatever you want. Yeah, so the cards that I know that I'm not going to want. Well, if that's the case, I'd like to stack it so that fetch lands, gemstone caverns, death right shaman, plunge into darkness, priest of fitania, elves of deep shadow, and land of war elves all will go into exile. The rest of it will get shuffled in with Kozilek butchers of truth. Even though all the cards are being discarded at the same time, Necropotence triggers separately for each one of them and exiles them one at a time. So then since they're your triggers and they're all on the stack at the same time as the Kozilek trigger, you get to choose the order of which ones are getting exiled and which ones are not. Is that right? Yes, if you saw it on Magic Online, it would look very complicated and you would have to click in a lot of places. But luckily we're playing in person where it's much easier to kind of sort and figure out. And then that will be it. Mine's not as exciting. Exotic Orchard, Soul Ring, and Pass. Draw a card. Scalding Tarn, Crack, Tropical Island. Cast my own Dark Ritual. Three black, cast Doomsday. Oh, you thought, Cameron, you thought. What's spookier than a Necropotence? Fucking Doomsday. All right, I wrote down my pile while I was thinking during Cameron's long turn, so hopefully this won't take me as long as it <laughs> otherwise that's would a, have. That's hilarious. Put him like that, pass my turn. Okay, so I'm gonna draw. Play Dude. Bayou, I think I'm just gonna pass. Skip my draw step. Command Tower as land, Mana Crypt, cast a Mox Diamond, discarding a Snow Cover Swamp that will go into exile. We're gonna cast the monster, get drug monster here. I'll activate Necro four times. One, Let's go. <laughs> They'll all go to my hand. I'll have no discards and I'll be passing. Tap skis, draw, land. Let's fetch, get underground, C, passing. Untap, upkeep, draw card. Play Lotus Petal, play Marsh Flats. Crack Marsh Flats, 18. Fine by you. Shuffle my library. Crack Lotus Petal for blue. Cast a DC. ATB trigger. Middle top three cards. Dread Return, Narc Amoeba, and Thassa's Oracle. Narc Amoeba trigger. So DC would trigger. I'll make a zombie. Cherries, are you interrupting this at any point? Yeah. It's not this one. Hey, look, a zombie that you can get at play to win mtg.com. Then for my next trick, cast Dread Return by sacrificing these three creatures. Targeting Thassa's Oracle. I will try and interact at this point. Hold on. <laughs> you cannot refuse. <clears throat> Two treasures you're giving me. Very, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, yep. I got nothing. Oh no. <laughs> I just saw a turn two and I went for it. It's fair. It's tempting. I have two treasures. No library. Dread return is countered and exiled. It's been fun. <laughs> Good game. All right, fast turn. I guess I'm going to cast an entomb on your end stuff. I mean, we just got to swing for the fences. I don't know. I got I to gotta get some lucky draws. 
Throw this Hulk in there. I'll draw for turn. I'm just gonna play carry and feeder and pass. Go to my turn on my upkeep. There's a Gitra trigger. And with that on the stack, I'd like to cast an Entomb of my own. Put a Dakmore Salvage into my graveyard. That will trigger the Gitrog draw a card, but I am uh, going to replace that draw with a Dredge 2. So I'll mill two, put the Salvage into my hand. There's a Forge that got milled, so there will be another Gitrog trigger. I'll draw another card. Okay, I have a Gitrog trigger. I will sacrifice the Bayou, which will let me draw another card. And then while I'm still on my upkeep, I have a Mana Crypt. That's a win. So then I skip my draw phase, cast a Dark Ritual, cast an Elvish Mystic, sacrifice the Elvish Mystic as uh, part of the cost of casting a Diabolic Intent. Oh, no. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yep. That's probably the game. That's Two tutors is probably enough tutors, but we'll see. If you're wondering if Gitrog can win through a Necropotence, the primer says we can combo off through Necropotence as the card of Grave Exiling effect is a triggered ability. We respond to all exiling triggers with either a dredge or a shuffle effect so no cards get exiled unless we're using the cleanup step as a discard outlet use a black mana on a putrid end. i would like to discard dark more salvage to putrid end. if anyone has any point of interaction you know, please let me know because otherwise i do want to present a loop here so yeah. what's unfortunately is i do but i can disrupt you but i'm gonna die when i draw off for turn so i'm not gonna do it because i think that's a spy play you coward <laughs> yeah it doesn't technically increase your win percent that's not true, BZ. It does 100% increase his win percentage. It's very, very, it's the most minute, impossibly Yeah, because hardest. we would all have to kill each other before he takes his turn. It technically is an increase, but it's so it's minute. minute. Yeah, you're right. I guess theoretically yeah. there is a way, but I still don't feel like it's exactly right. It's definitely defensible to just not. I have no points of interaction. Yeah, are we Dobbs? I am going to try my best to go through this line. Is it like a guaranteed thing? Technically, yes, but it's not deterministic, meaning you don't know what order it's going to happen. So basically, he discards a land, triggers Gitrog, dredges back with Dakmore Salvage, responds to triggers by discarding again, and he can keep on doing that. Whenever he hits a land, he has a draw trigger that he'll respond to and keep on doing his loop. And then once he has enough draw triggers, he'll use the Titan trigger to shuffle those graveyard cards back into his library and then resolve the draw triggers that will like draw his whole library. Yeah. The issue is he doesn't know what, there's like one card at the end where he's not sure what it's gonna be, but it, it doesn't really matter. Sorry to just jump in there and just explain for you, Cameron. Now, how fucking pretentious of me to just like, oh, actually let me explain though how his deck wins. No, I know how our strengths and weaknesses work out and your strength is definitely explaining lines uh, like way up here and mine is like way down here because what'll happen is like as i'm going through my library i mean i kind of have to play stuff at instant speed because of necro in a couple cases here i'll be able to you know essentially draw my whole library and keep looping through it and like recasting things like dark ritual as i'm looping through my whole library the actual win con is i let a couple of things get exiled i can run out creatures and with my infinite mana i can like finale of devastation yeah for like a billion yeah for a billion yeah i don't have anything to stop that i have a question was it dumb to get rid of the fetch lands i guess because the fetch lands technically do draw me two cards i don't know maybe i shouldn't have done that the points that i want to hit are that one was spooky it's halloween this is a special episode so we have a game too is it's even spookier why, what if you just do that? Since this is a Halloween special, we have a second spooky video for your viewing pleasure. That sounded still... It's the same video. Yeah, so it's, it's really, not like it's, it's... not. It's not another video. It's no. another game, really. And yes, I don't want to say viewing game. pleasure. No, don't, don't make it sexual. For our Halloween special, we have a second game that is just as spooky as the first. And it's not sexually pleasurable whatsoever. Everybody ready? All set. Let's do it. Let's start us off. Jarkar, are you sure? Dylan. Positive. Bloodstained Mire. Crack. Go to 39, Underground C, Mystic Grimoire. You fool. I'll pass my turn. I will draw. Play Paluta Delta. I think I want to get Scrubland and pass. I will get a draw. Let's play Windswept Heath. Crack that. 39 is my life total. We're going to go buy you into Flinthorn Elf and then pass the turn. Wow. That's the counter to Mystic Remora, is Mana Dork on turn one. Burning Catacombs, get Underground C, and pass. If you love it, let it go. Untap, upkeep, pay for Mystic Remora to stay <laughs> around. Draw card. Misty Rainforest, pass turn. I will draw. Play Nurturing Peatland. Ouch myself for one. I'm gonna play a Collector. Oof. I will pass, and I'm at 38. Draw for my turn. Play a Blooming Marsh. Now stay Squandered Resources. Mystic Remora trigger. Go for it. Joe, I'm gonna attack you for one. And that's because you're poop. 
Okay. Uh, that's absolutely right. You say that's because you're a poop? Yep. Pass the turn. Draw. Watch this. I'll play a tapped land and not feed the stupid fish because I'm smart. I'll pass. Oh, no. End step. I will crack Misty. Go to 38 for a bayou. Cast Worldly Tutor. Also an end step. All right. I'll feed the fish now. I'll dispel that. Trigger fish in draw. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It is countered. Untap. Upkeep. Let's keep it around. We're going to keep the fish around. Gross. I will draw a card. You know, play Averting Catacombs. That'll be it. Pass turn. Untap. Draw. Play Marsh Flats. I think we're going to get some beatdowns. Cherries for two. Take it. And I'm going to fetch with Marsh Flats to 37, if that's cool with everybody. We'll get a Savannah. I'm going to tap three and lose a life. Get my beatdown curve going. I'm going to play Luris. Incredible. Ooh. And then that's going to be it. Get a draw. Bloodstained Mire. Crack it. Four mana and then sacrifice this blooming marsh to the squandered resources and cast the Get Drug Monster. I may play an additional land. I would like to play Lake of the Dead. Ooh. Lake of the Dead's triggered ability. I will sacrifice this snow covered swamp and I will draw a card off Gitrock Monster. At that point, I will pass the turn. Tap land, pass. Fetch burden at the end. I won't feed the fish. Tap to overgrown tune. Uh, tap. Upkeep. I won't pay for the fish. It'll die. Get him out of here. Draw card. Fucking thought. I don't need to insult the fish. It's already dead. I'm going to cast Phantasmal Image. Ooh. Oh, somebody stop it from being a stupid Lurus. I got to right. tap different. Have it come in as a copy of Lurus. Clever. And I will play this Ottawara and cast Mystic Remora with Lurus's ability. This is BS. Okay, that's it. Pass turn. I haven't drawn a ton of cards off the Mystic Remora yet, but that just means that there are a bunch of non-creatures in my opponent's hand. So copying this Lurus allows me to keep this Mystic Remora around for a long time. Draw a card for turn. Sure is interesting. Cameron, I think I'm going to attack you with this uh, Collector Oof. And Cherry is going to you with this lures. Block the collector oof with Gitrock Monster. I will go to 39 and this thing will die. I'm gonna feed the fish because I don't care. I'm gonna play a mana crypt. This is more trigger. I'll draw a card. This is my spooky draw with this deck, I think, because I'm about to try to cast my second nightmare of the game. I'm gonna try to play a Doom Whisperer. Oh boy. Wow. That's my turn. Untap on my upkeep. I have a couple things that happen. There is a Gitrog trigger that is on the stack. In response to that Gitrog trigger, I would like to make one black mana, activate Lake of the Dead, sacrificing a swamp to make four black mana. And wouldn't you know it, that just happens to be the exact amount of black mana I need for an ad nausea. Huh. This is a more trigger. You may draw. Lake of the Dead is so good in Gitrog. It draws you cards and makes you a ton of mana. It's like a commander in the lands. A calander. I'm going to cast... Force of Will pitching Rustic Study on the Ad Nauseam. Ad Naus is countered. Do I forget that Gitrog trigger? Yeah, you kind of forgot that Gitrog trigger, but you remembered it in a little bit, so you you responded to it is what you did, and you responded to it instead with the Ad Nauseam. That is what I did. Yeah, that is what you did. I did do that. <laughs> Look at the screen. <laughs> the Gitrog draw will happen off of the Bayou. I want to keep Gitrog around, so I will sacrifice this Lake of the Dead, which will let me draw another nice. card. So now I will go to my draw step. I will draw another card. <laughs> Let's play a Gemstone Caverns and a Phyrexian Tower as my two lands for turn. Let me just make as much mana as I can. So this is one green. This is one colorless. Sacrifice the Gemstone Caverns to the Squandered Resources. We're going to make another green mana. Get a draw off Gitrog Monster. Sacrifice the Flint Horn Elf. Make two black mana. Use three mana to cast Finale of Devastation. X equals one. Mystic Remora trigger. Draw. We're going to get a Putrid in. Sacrifice the Phyrexian Tower. Make a green mana. We get a Gitrog trigger. So I will draw. Use a green mana to cast Elves of Deep Shadow. Use the two black mana and sacrifice Elves of Deep Shadow to cast a Diabolic Intent. Mystic Remora trigger. Draw. I have nothing here. All right, I got to respond here then. This seems important. Cast a mana consultation. Force of negation. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Force of negation. Hey. Cast Force of Negation, pitching Cyclonic Rift on Diabolic Intent. That is not good. So Diabolic Intent will get exiled. And um, now I have no lands. You have Threshold. <laughs> Idea. I'm not sure as hell of threshold. Let's go to combat. Jerry's, I'm going to attack you for a six. Down to 27, my turn? Yes. Draw. I'll play a Mana Confluence. Play a stupid Signet that I've been holding because I thought I could get around the fish, but I never actually could. Mr. Grimoire draws, thank you. I will now pass. Untap. Upkeep. Let the fish die. Draw her. Cast Mana Crypt. Floating one. Cast Divining Witch. Let us also cast Mystic Amora from our graveyard with Luris. Cast Dothy Voidwalker. Oh boy, I'm going to respond. <laughs> 
going to pay two life and surveil too. I'm going to put Entomb and Skull Clamp in the graveyard. I'm going to do it again. Go to 34. I'm going to do it again. Go to 32. I'm going to do it again. Go to 30. I guess I'll put Renegade Rallyer and Karmic Guide in the bin. Let's go to 28. I'll go to 26. 24. All right. So I will put Force of Vigor in the graveyard. And I think I will leave this friend on top. And then I will let Dothy Voidwalker resolve. Go to combat. Jerry's, I'll come at you for three. 24. And I will gain three life going up to 39. That's it. Pass turn. I got some mana crypt. Even. We're safe. Draw this card I knew about. Cast a Grist. On the stack, that's a creature still, right? Yes. Nuts. I'll take a damage. I'll use the mana to cast Collector with Wars. Nobody else is going to be able to interact with that witch. I'm going to have to save everybody. I'll try to minus two and target this stupid witch. Oof is voided. Dylan, I guess I'm going to send six at you and three at Cherries. I'll go up to 26. 33. Yeah, I'm at 21. All right, I'm done after that. On my upkeep, I have a Gitrog trigger. <laughs> no lands, so... I forgot about this. Goodbye, Gitrog monster. I will draw. Have no fear. We can still do stuff. City of Brass. Cast a Lotus Petal. Trigger Mystic Remora. Draw. Crack the Lotus Petal and make a black. It is uh, voided. 37. Thank you. I'm going to cast a Chains of Mephistopheles. Okay. Mr. Grimora. Take it while you can. I'm passing. Untap. You've been Draw. doing nothing this game, Jerry's. I know. Can you at least help me beat up Dylan? I'll play <laughs> Crop and I'll lose a life. Tap Steam Vents and pass. Untap. Upkeep, Mr. Grimora. I will not pay. Mana Crypt. I will lose three and go down to 30. Shock in a watery grave. Cast Shallow Grave. Putting one. Top creature of my graveyard is Divining Witch. Oh. I'll surveil two. I'll go to 24. It will gain haste until end of turn, right? Yeah. Correct. It gains haste. All right. I'm going to put these both in the quote unquote graveyard. It's Gaddock, Teague, and Bayou. They're avoided. But I have no other response. I will put Divining Witch into play. I'm going to put Thassa's Oracle onto the stack. Prom trigger, yeah. Start a land. Draw. Nothing. Thassa's Oracle cast, okay? Oh, so. Yep. Yeah. ETB, I will pay this black and this colorless from before. I activate Divining Witch. I will name All Hallows Eve. I will also have to discard this Elvish Mystic in order to- That is flavorful. One, two, three, four, five, six. All Hallows Eve is not there. Exile the rest of my library. <laughs> no way. That's the Oracle Trigger? I'm going to serve nice. you yeah. no, I'll bend these two. Okay, I have no response. Okay. <laughs> the Oracle Trigger? Win the game? All good. Wow. Unbelievable. I'm so happy that for the Halloween episode, I was able to cast Shallow Grave on a witch and name the card All Hallows Eve as part of legal game action. Perfect. I'm so glad for the Halloween episode we actually saw Gitrago win a game. We did play another game with Joe Cherries and BZ from the Nitpicking Nerds. In that game, they both probably did a little bit more than in these two games. These ones were just a little bit spookier. I thought turn one Necro, turn one Doomsday. But if you want to catch that video, you can in like a month or so. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so at Patreon like our $50 patrons. Jason Perkins. I think I've been saying Jensen. And it's Jason? I think it's Jason. Maybe they just changed it to Jason. Right. Man Solo, Nikola Markovic, Roberto Ruiz, Steven Schlichty, Russ Helms, That Green Guy, Plantain Jackson, Isaiah Berliski, Michael Lyon, George Allen, Pedro, Jukai, Byron Wang, C, Kawaja A. Hamid, Jacob Depp, CZ, Michael Ballou, Jan Wildfang, Adrian Grimm, Sleepy Jarvis, Thomas Bono, Swampy McGee, Peter Larson, Jesus, Nocturnal Beaver, David Nelson, Finny Bianca, Jormags, Moxfield, and Baby Jeepus. Check out our Bonfire store for our t-shirts, sweatshirts, and all of our other merch, too. If you want to pick up any of the cards that you saw today, you can do so at our TCG Player affiliate link down below. Check out the Alter Sleeves affiliate link for 5% off your order. And if you want to pick up any Dragon Shield product, you can do that at our affiliate link. Play to an MTG.com still has all of our merch there as well, so go check that out, too. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Are you, are, are, you, are you terrified of the Gitron's power? Dothy Voidwalker, man. Heart's good. Haunting my nightmares. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Literally. So what I should have done, I had this deflecting spot. I should have deflecting spotted Dylan, reanimate his Narcomoeba, and then that would have given me the counter spell to stop the tune. I had Chain of Vapor, which I, I could have kind of slowed you right. down at one point, but...